Welcome to Cambridge Car Audio. My name's Ardil and I'm really proud to be showing you guys another one of our videos. In today's video, what I'm gonna be showing you is the massive, immense upgrade that we've carried out to the Nissan 300ZX. It's been an incredible project for us. We've been working on the car for around about two and a half months now. So really proud to be showing you guys this, the full, detailed description of exactly what's gone on. It's gonna be a slightly longer video because of the amount of kit that's actually gone into this car. So stay tuned to the very end, but the best thing you guys can do to not miss another one of our videos, hit that subscribe button below. Other than that guys, let's get into it. So with the level of detail that's gone into the actual installation that we've carried out to the 300ZX, it was really important that in this video we highlight exactly what we've done, exactly how we've done it, and also the finished article. So in this video, to start with, we're gonna be going around the car, explaining exactly what we've done, then we'll be stepping inside and showing you a little bit more actual products and services that we've added into this vehicle. So in terms of the outside, what we started off with is a full Nardo gray wrap. This car actually came into us in the factory red color. It just looked a little bit tired. Customer wanted something slightly different and we've gone for the Hexis Nardo gray wrap and that's everything done in house as well. So that's the full car transform with the Nardo gray wrap. Customer is actually potentially gonna be painting the car in this color and we wanted to sort of give this color a test to see what wanted to be done with the car in the future. That's one side of it. And now we're gonna be talking about the actual audio system that we've gone inside this vehicle. So it's very, very essential that I go through everything in step by step. So Steve, please bear with me on this one. We're gonna be starting off at the back in the boot build. Basically what this customer came into us asking for was a full custom sound system. What we've done is exactly that, but no steps have been skipped. Everything is done to the highest possible standards and we've gone to absolute town on it. We've got custom A pillars, we've got custom door cards, we've got custom boot build. Inside the boot build, we're running two Hertz Miele Pro 10 inch subs. They're placed on either side and then we've got a Perspex lit area, which houses is the Audison Voce Quattro, which is a four channel amp running the Audison Thesis tweeters up front and the Audison Thesis woofers in the door. Then what we've got is two Melee Power ones running each one of those Melee Power Pro 10 subs. So an immense amount of power is running into the system. The, from the factory door card, it didn't really allow for a tweeter as well as the fact it only allowed for a five inch speaker inside the actual door card. What we've done is customized the door card, built that out using fiberglass and added a six and a half inch Audison Thesis speaker into there. The driver is actually tilted at a slight angle to give a load of upper mid base driving up into the front of the vehicle as well as the fact we've got the custom A pillars housing the Audison Thesis tweeters. An incredible front end providing loads of clarity, lower mid base feel, great sound in the vehicle. We've just tuned it, it sounds absolutely amazing. Plus you've got those two subs rocking, moving you, moving that air inside the cabin. It sounds phenomenal. One of the highest spec systems that we've done 
on this car. It sounds absolutely amazing. We use Autosynthesis day in and day out, and that's why exactly this customer has traveled to us to have the work carried out, because we know our way around the products, we know our way around the car audio systems like we have done on this car. So we've got custom A pillars, custom door cards, fully built out and all retrimmed in Alcantara. Then we've got the full boot build. The customer wanted it relatively discreet, so we've gone for an Alcantara floor, the two speaker grill for the Milo Pro 10 inch subs, and then we've got the lit area with the clear perspex to just highlight the actual install and the amp work that's under there. Controlling the whole system, we're using a Alpine head unit, which we'll talk about when we're inside the car very shortly. In terms of the actual processing power, we're using an Audison Bit Nove. Basically what that is, is a processor. It allows us to plug our computer in, tune the car completely, customize it to exactly how the customer wants. It just basically means that we have full control over every single component inside that car. We can do full time alignment, loads of other correction facilities inside that and make that sound absolutely epic. So that's a bit of an overview on the outside. We're gonna be stepping in the car, show you some of the speakers, as well as the fact I'm gonna go through all of the parts inside the head unit, go through the functionality that we've added there and some really cool little bits and pieces that we've added inside the car to add not only functionality, but also to give the driving experience, just make it that so much better. As well as the fact now we've got an absolutely epic sound system. So now join me in the car, we're gonna be stepping inside and going through all of that right now. So now inside the car, I'm gonna be talking through a little bit more about the products and stuff that's inside the car that makes a real difference to your driving experience. We're gonna start off with the head unit. Customer was after a couple of key things. He wanted a tablet style design. He wanted a larger screen, as well as the fact he wanted to add steering wheel controls. Obviously with the car, they had the original clusters on the side of the steering wheel for your heating controls and stuff like that. However, it had two sort of units down at the bottom, which were singled in. People can do a doubled in conversion. However, he didn't want to settle with that. He didn't want to go for a normal seven inch screen wanted a nine inch sort of like a sort of like an ipad sort of style screen up in the front it's exactly what we've done so what was said to be never been done before we've done it here at cambridge car audio we've added in the alpine nine inch freestyle unit basically giving a really nice clear picture of a nine inch screen living up there plus the radio units behind that the other thing is on this freestyle unit is it allows us the ability to relocate and add steering wheel controls. That's exactly what we've done. On the back and on the sides of the housings, what we've added in is a custom built. So these are built out of fiberglass. A lot of time has been spent on getting these to how they are. Basically they form in really nicely, give a really nice curve, and then we've painted them black to blend in nicely. This gives full steering wheel control retention for the nine inch screen. So we've got that on both sides. We've got the menu buttons and everything all live on here. This screen also gives you the ability to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay added in here as well. So as you can see on Apple CarPlay, I've got my text messages come up, I've got my phone calls, I've got my maps, and they're on a really nice, clear nine inch screen. The unit is actually really interactive. The screen's really responsive, as you can see as well. Plus, we can also got DAB added in. We're using the factory antenna for the DAB and we're adding what's called a DAB splitter. So we've got nothing on the windscreen, nothing sort of added on, and we're using a DAB splitter to retain that factory FM antenna, convert all that information and make it into a DAB antenna. Plus, we've got the original FM being used as well. However, with all this new sound system, the music's there. You want to be enjoying your own music. So we've got everything now via Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The other cool thing is inside this cubby box, right underneath here, customers after a wireless charging port, which is exactly what we've done. So that's all live directly in there, nice tucked away. We've got the factory heated seat switch here, plus then what we've got here is a custom built, so this is built out of 3D printed, basically what the DRC controller for the sound system. This links into the Audison Bit Nove. Basically what it's doing is it controls the system, you've got sub-level control on here, plus you've also got the option to select between memories A and B. So you've got two different presets in the car, plus you've got full volume control there as well. We've also added in a little switch, which actually adds in all the lights across the vehicle. So the woofers light up, which has never been done before as well. So we've actually got lit up Audison Thesis Sachs woofers in the door, which is really, really cool. Plus we've got the custom lighting in the back as well. So you can turn that on and off whenever he pleases. Also, we've got HDMI link from into the back of the head unit. Plus we've got two additional really fast chargers coming in for USB for additional charging ports inside the vehicle. So it's really, really cool that we've added this much functionality to not only make the user experience while driving that so much better, but also added in steering wheel controls, which has never been done for in one of these cars, as far as we're aware. 
plus also we've got the custom sound system. However, from here, the sound stage is absolutely epic because we've got the autosynthesis tweeters live directly right on top of that sound stage, giving you all of that clarity. Mid bass, which is angled up, giving you loads of mid bass down into this bottom footwell area. Sort of drives up the sound really nicely. And then we've got the subs punching from behind and we've got loads of power in the system as well. The other things that we've also added in is a security system as well as the fact that we've got a tracking system as well as an alarm and a mobilizer. So this vehicle is staying with its owner with and it's his pride and joy, wants to keep it safe. And it's very essential that we look at security options when we're adding in upgrades like this. So that's all been done. It's been a massive, massive project for us, but it sounds absolutely insane. Really happy with the way everything's come out. We've sort of gone to an immense level of detail with everything that we've installed. So if you're interested in something like this, maybe one part of it, maybe all of it, whether it's on this car or another car, you know exactly where to come. If you're after a custom sound system with all the electronics looked after, replaced and repaired, everything done to the highest possible standards, you know exactly what to do. Drop us a message, make sure you hit the like button on the video below, but also make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, grow our channel, share our video on the forums with your friends and family. But thank you very much for watching and we're out. Thank you.